Hi everyone! Today we're going to continue our series on preservation lessons during lockdown. I'm Sarah Vesey, the Associate Paper Conservator at the Belbo Art Conservation Center here in San Diego, and I have a few tips to share. Like so many of you, I too have been working from home over the last seven or so weeks. And while I've learned it does come with some perks, it also comes with a reminder of the pile in the corner of family photos, albums, documents that you've collected for so many years that's just sitting there staring at you collecting dust because it's just too overwhelming. It might even come with a 25-year-old glamour shot. But either way, if you're ready to tackle it, first steps first, you got to find a clear space to work. To clear a space to work, remember to remove any pens, markers, drinks, or food so you don't accidentally damage your collections as you spread out. You should also avoid using any pressure-sensitive sticky tapes or glues around your treasured photos or paper documents, including those that look like these sticky dots here. Once you've found a nice clear space, it's important that the next step is washing your hands. And don't skip this time. The oils on your hands can cause problems and damage to your photos and paper collections. No cream. While you sort through what you have, try to handle any photos just by the edges and support any fragile papers or photos from below so that they don't get damaged. Once you've had a chance to root around, you can start to separate things and then that will help you prioritize. One of the first steps is to remove your photographs and your works on paper from any poor quality materials. This one happens to have both my grandmother and my great-great-grandfather's handwriting on it, so I'm gonna save this for later. Once you've prioritized your collection and you know which ones you wanna to take to the next step, um, now is the time to choose how you want to store them. Um, my favorite way is with albums, only because it's a way to both enjoy and store what you have safely. Um, for me, I've chosen this album that I've, um, I've picked out because of the quality of the paper. You want to stick with something that's archival, that doesn't have wood pulp, and ideally is 100% cotton. Um, so it has to be a little bit bigger than what you'd like to store in it. Um, and then you can use things like photo corners um, to, it, to uh, secure them on the pages. And I can show you that later on. One thing to keep in mind when you're rehousing things, um, binders are also a useful option. Um, and there are some plastic sleeves that you can buy that are also um, safe and archival quality. Just don't do what my grandpa did. Don't put holes for your three ring binder through your documents. There's also an option if you want to store loose things safely um, in archival boxes in case you don't have enough space to spread them out into albums. Um, there are paper sleeves and plastic sleeves that are good quality um, that you can purchase and store things so you don't have to worry about them. Here are a few more tips for handling and rehousing your collections. When organizing your photos, be careful not to pull them apart if they're stuck together. This will likely cause irreversible damage. If you're concerned and they're important to you, please call a conservator. When rehousing collections, it's important to look for storage materials that are chemically stable and don't contain harmful acids, sulfur, or peroxides. If you prefer paper folders, envelopes, or albums, look for keywords such as lignin-free, 100% rag, alpha cellulose, or passed the PAT test. This is especially important to verify if something is marketed as archival. Clear plastic sleeves are also a great option since they allow you to see your documents without having to touch them. However, it's important to remember, never laminate. You want to look for plastic sleeves that are polypropylene or polyester and avoid anything that's frosted. When putting an album together, look for polypropylene photo corners. 
Self-sticking options are available from reputable manufacturers. Just be extra careful that the sticky side only comes in contact with your album page and not your documents. When you're ready to put everything back into storage, remember where your collections live play a large part in how long they last. There's three hazards you want to keep your collection away from. That's light, heat, and humidity. That's why I've chosen this closet. It's an interior closet that doesn't share any walls with kitchens or bathrooms. It's obviously nice and dark, and it's away from the heating unit. Looks like I've got some more organizing to do.